Welcome to the garden where I grew up. Currently, it's kind of a mess here because nobody is living here except for my blind grandmother, which is the reason why I'm here. I'm visiting her because it's time to visit my grandmother and talk to her and spend some time with her. And as well, it's time to capture some cinematic drone footage for you to learn from. Today, we shall be practicing how to capture real estate with your drone so enough with the talking let's fly let's go into cinesmooth mode because we are we will be flying fairly slowly and smoothly because we want to capture these buildings all right let's start with this climbing up rotating going in shot with tilting down the camera revealing the upper floor yeah there's the balcony that's a cool feature of this house if only this house would be <laughs> uh, like sustained well but it's not because no no one is living here all right so that was one move like that that's pretty cool we could do the same move here uh with uh, with going backwards Let's see, yeah, like this. And let's go back to Cinesmooth mode and then just push backwards, tilt up the camera and go downwards as well. So backwards, downwards and upwards the camera. And it gives us such a cool looking shot. And then let's go into the rotation, maybe slightly up. And the camera could start tilting a bit more. I uh, mean, this is a not very well made connection. This could have been cool, but I messed up a bit. All right, so uh, let's continue on with a rotation, slightly going down and tilting up the camera like this just like this beautiful and the trees and everything in foreground and background gives you a sense of depth and that is what makes videos look it's what makes videos look more impressive a sense of depth all right let's record this house now here let's lock the exposure because it will look a bit better if we lock it Minus three, I guess it will be fine. All right, let's lock it now. Let's tilt down the camera a bit. And what we want to do is lower the altitude, push forward, and tilt up the camera and uh, fly close to this branch uh, bush thing and maybe fly below these trees. So uh, let's make it impressive. Let's go. All right. This is looking all right. Cool. If only this house would be clean and pretty. It's dirty and not very pretty. Uh, all right, let's record some more. Now let's do something similar, but just going slightly backwards and upwards and tilting down the camera with slight rotation yeah just like that that was kind of cool all right let's visit this house let's do one more uh, one more going down forwards tilting up the camera but this time we'll be doing it through this area here it's um, it's a lot more busier there but I think the shot could look really cool so let's do it slowly but surely remember you have to be confident about what you're doing that's the only way how you will be able to do something properly you have to be confident so now let's slightly rotate in because these b b branches or something and great 
that's how we reveal this building's like lower terrace part this shot was really cool actually I do like it a lot one more cool way to reveal some second floor stuff is by having the camera tilted up like this and then just increasing the altitude and pushing in or rotating around and tilting down the camera revealing the stuff you want to reveal in this case it's this balcony type part place <laughs> all right what else can we do uh, also one pretty good thing to do is to reveal uh, the if you are capturing real estate you should be also uh, showing like what's around the object so let's do some flying these types of shots work like about 99% of the time just push back tilt up and maybe increase the altitude and remember to end the camera tilt smoothly like that and then, and then maybe rotate a bit oh that rotation there was a bit messed up but well you get the idea show off the area you are in now we'll do it differently this could be a uh, this could be a shot that you introduce the the video like the first shot of the video one good thing to do in the first shot of the video is to tell as much as you can for example now we are saying that this is the riverside it's really near the riverside and check these trees and garden and this is the building we want to sell for example so uh, I messed up but you get the idea show as much as you can in one shot and uh, yeah it will it will it will look really imp impressive it will be informative and uh, you know impressive and informative might guarantee you a sell like whatever you're selling for like, like right now we're selling real estate <laughs> that's what we are doing all right and if you're in these types of areas like if you have your if you have the whole garden to you use it for example here i'll be flying really low i can see the drone it's right in front of me i'll be flying really low and i'll be doing this type of a rotation shot while being very low so have the camera tilted up slightly rotating tilting the camera down and checking the drone and just like that that looked really impressive one more thing you can do is use other objects in front of you like for example we have these branches well this could be a tree with leaves in a good day in a, in a good sunny day so we'll be we would be we wouldn't be seeing the house now we'll be flying forwards upwards tilting the camera down rotating and revealing the house but i messed up again a bit but you get the idea that would be a pretty cool shot if I would have done it properly. Uh, okay, let's let's give it another try. I mean, let's give it another go. Don't try, just do it. So let's do it. Cool. I have to tilt the camera downwards a bit quicker. yeah this looked a lot cooler 
if I would be doing this for for a, for a for a real estate thing, I would probably do it once more to make it perfect. But this one, this one is already a bit bit more usable than the previous ones. And let's just do a simple rotation around here while lowering the altitude and slightly tilting up the camera. I like the rotation so much. That's why I really didn't like the JJRC X12 because, well, I can't do a rotation on it. <laughs> I was look, I was looking at the drone. Hey, little buddy. That's another way how you can disable, disable the drone, just by with force. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this video could be useful. Hopefully you could learn something new from me today. And um, yeah, if you want to get your own Mavic Mini, go into the description. There's a link. If you get it through there, you help me out. And um, I get a percentage of the, of the monies, which is very much appreciated. In the dark times of Lord Voldemort, very much appreciated. Stay strong, stay healthy, keep on flying. See you in the next video. Oh,